Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here. I'm going to do a colouring catch up for you. Obviously it's been a little while since we started the um, Lazy Sunshine's Oz picture. And as you can see this is the reason why on the 31st of January I went and had my little baby girl. So this is Jennifer. She was born on the 31st of January, just a minute to midnight. As you can see she's really adorable, very sweet and at the moment very quiet. So even though she's giving us the eye right now, <laughs> she knows I'm here. Um, so I haven't really been doing very much. In fact, I've hardly coloured anything since she was born. Um, I haven't read a single book. I have finished one book and I have started another book. I did start one in the hospital but never finished it. So she's really taken up a lot of my time. But hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit back to normal and I'll be able to do a few um, bits of filming so a bit of colouring catch up I've got a colouring haul to do I've still got my January reading wrap up there isn't going to be a normal book haul because I haven't really bought any books I bought a couple but not many so that might be next month Ooh, look, oh look she's making noises hey peanut you okay She's probably going to wake up and want feed in soon, so um, what I'll do is I'm going to start some colouring. And obviously if she cries, I will pause the video and go and sort her out and then come back to you as soon as she's settled again. But I just thought you'd like to meet her. Here she is, all cute and gorgeous. Well, after I uh, showed you my little peanut, my little Jennifer, and started setting up, she decided to kick off and wanted some food, so <laughs> that's what it's going to be like. It's going to be very, very stop-start. So. Anywho, we are colouring in Lacey Sunshine's Oz book, which we started ages ago before I went into hospital. But never mind, we'll have another go because I haven't finished it yet and I want to finish it. So, you might hear little grumblings from the corner where, where my little angel's sleeping in her basket. And if she does, obviously, I will have to stop and go and sort her out. But obviously, I will be back. So let's just zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to do Dorothy's eyes. I know I haven't finished her dress yet, so but that's okay. So, yes, it's been a very, very busy few weeks. Because obviously... Oh, darling. Paul has my other half has been off on paternity leave for two weeks, and before that, he had a week's holiday. So I've had him home for three weeks. Although obviously I wasn't here for most of that. Well, for part of that, especially the first week because I was in hospital that week. And uh, yeah. Oh dear, you will hear strange noises coming from the corner, but that's okay. So, he's been off work and so we've both been very, very busy looking after the baby. Hmm. Oh, I like that colour. So like I said, I have not read hardly any, oops, wrong one, that one, anything. And I haven't coloured very much. I have been working in Ivy and the Inky Butterfly a little bit, but not much. Again, just because by the time I actually get a chance to sit down and colour. It's late in the evening. I'm tired. And I'm 
had dinner and I just want to relax. So I have been trying to do bits here and there. But not as much as I would like to. But that's the thing. I've got a baby and she has to take priority over everything else. So, you know, as I guess I have got a haul to do. Um, and some of this stuff goes back to what I got in December. I had some stuff for Christmas. I haven't shown it to you yet. I will show it to you in the next couple of days if I get a chance to film. Paul's actually going to be off. Not off work tomorrow, but he's going to be working from home, which will be nice. Because it takes him an hour each way travelling to get to Cardiff where he works. So um, it's great if he, you know, it saves him two hours a day, really. Um, and yesterday when he um, was on the way home, the train is remembering it's half term over here at the moment. Um, so all the kids are off, so he he got to the station to catch the train. The notice board said, oh yeah, it's going to be a full, full carriages, which great. There's tons of people on the platform. And when the train comes, it's only two carriages. So he couldn't get on it because it was full. So instead of getting home at quarter past six, like he normally does, he got home at quarter past seven. So she's just starting to make a few little grumbling noises over there. So I'm just going to listen out because if I need to, I'm going to have to stop filming and go and get her. Give her a cuddle. She's not too bad at the moment. She's okay. There's not a lot of difference in these blues, but it's nice colours. So hopefully she'll uh, be okay though. So yes, I have got some stuff to show you from Christmas, so so yes, it'll be nice with Paul working from home. It means because if he wakes up early, because sometimes he, he wakes up at like six o'clock and can't get off again, and he's off, he gets up at seven anyway, um, he will just get up and start work early because what he does doesn't have to be done during business hours, so he can start whenever he's ready, which means he can finish whenever he's ready. So it's also my mum's birthday tomorrow, so tomorrow we will be going over to their house for dinner and taking a little peanut with us. I call it a little peanut is because when I was expecting her, and before we knew it was a girl, um, my mum got upset if I called the baby it. So we started calling the baby peanut. So it's kind of stuck. <laughs> She's still my little peanut. So that's Dorothy done. So, I think I'm going to do the yellow brick road with number 25. I think this is 25. Is that 25? No, that's number 10. Oh, I'm in the wrong palette, that's why. Let's have a look at what that one is. Well, so many of them is this packet of feelers. Uh, and again, back again. Hang on, one more lot. Number 10's lemon. Oh, number six is gold. If I can find it, that should be one of these, shouldn't it? That's that one. Number six. Looks more orange than gold, especially on the camera, but it is actually a yellowy colour. And we're going to get, um, I think, warm yellow and maybe burnt yellow. So although they've only got numbers on the stems of the pencils, the feelers, they do actually have numbers as well, uh, names. So we've got number 25, which is that one. And number 83, which again looks more orange than yellow. But it is a yellow, it's a golden rod, so that's what they've called it, so yes. Now, ow, oh, I've just hurt my knee. She's gone a bit quieter now, so I'm just going to shade. Just move this up a bit so you can see the brick road. The whole thing in with this light colour. First, which was number 25 from the feelers. <laughs> 
she does make the strangest noises when she's um, in her little basket having a sleep or when she's just awake and trying to get attention. Oh, oh, is she going to go? She's going to go, I think. Baby Geddon's on its way. Right, I'm going to sort her out and I'll be right back as soon as I have. I won't be a sec. Right, so it turns out she just wanted a bit of a cuddle, so she'll probably be doing that now for quite a while. Um, so uh, it'll be hit and miss whether or not she get much done today. But it's okay, she's so cute. So yeah, I mean, I haven't really read anything lately. I finished off one book, so I'm really behind on my Goodreads challenge now, which... I knew would happen and I'm not worried about it. I can always put on an audio book through my computer if I want to, through my speakers. Um, well, I have started reading a couple of books. One I started reading in the hospital called Silence. And the other one is the new uh, book by Michelle Morgan, The Girl. Mario, The Seven Year Itch and the Birth of an Unlikely Feminist, which is not actually out yet, but it is a, a review copy that I've got. So she's given me the net galley one, but I will be receiving a copy from, oops, oh, I'm dropping everything today, from the publisher as well. So um, yeah, I'll be uh, doing that. So I've started that and I was reading that last night in, in bed because that's on my Kindle so I can just sort of balance that somewhere and hold baby as well and still manage to read. Not brilliant because obviously you get interrupted a lot of the time but that's just the way it is at the moment. It's going to be like that for a while but Obviously, like on Wednesdays with Paul being at, at like tomorrow with Paul being home, when he finishes work, he'll probably finish about three or four because he'll start about eight, seven or eight. Um, he can, he'll probably have her for a bit then, or you know, just sit with her while I I can read then. So. <laughs> All I can see. If I'm coming out of her basket at the moment, is her foot. <laughs> she's uh, kicked her blankets off and she's got her foot out. <laughs> Which is quite cute because she's, oh, we've gone out of focus. She's got lovely little feet. They're actually quite big, but I think they're lush. So now I'm just going to go add a bit of this, which is number six. So I want to say that is. The one that looks orange, but it's actually yellow, but I can't remember what it's called. Just put a little bit of that on there like so. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. But now she's gone quiet now. I am really, really tired, so I'm kind of thinking, shall I have a sleep on the sofa in a minute? You know, <laughs> once I finish this and it's doing it but I've got so many videos to make that I want to uh, try and film a couple of flip throughs today if I can and maybe film my haul and then that can go up tomorrow or probably tomorrow. Oops. Oops. I do need to get a case for these feelers. At the moment, they're still in there. Um, I mean, there's a shadow, and it's just my arm because I'm left-handed. They're still in their original box, which is not ideal because it's very flimsy. And I don't like it when it's flimsy. <laughs> I think this was just gold, wasn't it? My phone's vibrating. I 
Hey, all right, P. So every now and again I might talk to her, so don't worry if I do. She's, um, oh, and there we go again. She'll do it and she'll stop and then she'll do it again. So. We'll just see. She might lose. So that's the third thing I've dropped in the last five minutes. So my Tegal Sharpen has just flown across the room. Come get it. I'm thinking I should just give up. <laughs> there we go. I need sharpening this pencil. This was the warm yellow one, I think, on that. Yeah, number 25, is it? No, number 83, Goldenrod. Do you see what I mean? I have not got a clue. Oh, that's nice, actually. That makes it nice and yellow. That's the sort of colour I want. I do quite like these feelers. They are nice pencils. Okay, they're not as good as my Prismacolors or my Colorsoft or Polychromos, which I really love those three brands, but they're still good. Follow the yellow brick road. I love the Wizard of Oz, by the way. I think I've told you this before. It is one of my favourite movies. Oh. Because I just love... I love Judy Garland anyway, so... I'm a bit of a Garland fan. I have been for a long time. I like her singing. I love the, some of the movies she's been in. I've seen a lot of them. I haven't seen them all, but... Really, the shoes should be silver, but yeah, we are going to do it our way, aren't we? We're going to do it the film way, not the storybook way. Yeah, if you read the original book, the shoes are silver. I think I mentioned this the first time we did it, that um, the reason they picked red and changed them to ruby for the, the film was that the red would show up better on the Technicolor film than silver. So that's why. So she's snuffling and making funny noises. She does that a lot. It's only when she gets really cranky. You see, she's not happy. She wants cuddles. I don't think I'm going to get much more done than this. Um, and that's taken, this little section has been seven minutes, which is pretty good. And all we've done is <laughs> the yellow brick broke. <laughs> she's pretty though. She is pretty. We're going to follow the yellow brick road. <clears throat> follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. So I have been watching YouTube. I've mostly been watching Days with George and the Lion. Because she seems to like him. Oh, I'll be back. So, as I said, I have been only really watching um, some YouTube. Not everything, because there's so much of it. But I have been watching uh, Days of Jordan the Lion, a few booktubers, and of course, um, some of the colouring um, channels. So... Um, Grace's Colouring Corner and A Colourful Life with Anne, Shaleen and Sweet Nightingale, um, mostly I've been watching their hauls and mostly I've been watching them <laughs> at night in bed when I've been feeding the baby or when she doesn't want to settle down and she just wants to cuddle up to me which she seems to want to do quite a lot 
which is fine, I don't mind, it's cute. So when she just wants to cuddle up with me at night and she won't settle, I just put her on my chest and I put a video on. <coughs> and I just sit there and uh, watch it. Yeah. I've had lots of lovely presents for her and cards, literally tons and tons and tons of stuff. And I know that um, apparently Paul's work colleagues have bought something for us as well, for her. So he'll be bringing that home tonight along with his um, work gear because he'll be uh, working from home tomorrow. So which would be nice. So more presents for Peanut. She's very lucky, she's been very spoiled. Lots of clothes and things, which is nice. And different sizes as well, not just the newborn stuff. So she's got stuff to grow into, which is great. Yeah, I've been really enjoying the Days with George and the Lion vlogs. He's off to Rome soon, so I'm looking forward to that because I've never been. And I've always wanted to go to Italy and Pompeii and Naples, and he's going to be doing all of that. So that's great. I can just live vicariously through him. <laughs> We are hoping to go on holiday in June, only to Tenby, which is a few miles up the road, but it's a nice place to stay. It's like, it's not so far that it's hard to get to and takes hours and hours, it's maybe like an hour and a half drive or something like that, um, but it's far enough away to still be a break because it's a seaside and it's a really nice seaside area. But it's also not like going to Cornwall, which takes four or five hours drive. You think with a baby you'd have to stop several times because I'm the driver. So, you know, if she gets unsettled, all I've got to do is find her uh, services or a pulling in space and just stop and see if she's okay. <coughs> so we're not going to finish this time. I don't know how many minutes this is because obviously it's been quite fragmented so I don't even think we're on 20 yet but I could be wrong we could be a lot further in than that I just don't I just don't know just simply because of the um stops and starts we've had which is just going to be the way it is for the time being and it's, it's fine oh that one didn't work let me just find a different sharpener that one broke So tomorrow I'm going to try and film my monthly reading wrap up. I see when I can find all the books because everything has been moved around. Oh, this is not a good looking pencil. I think that's the problem with some of these cheaper ones. They do break quite easily. But uh, see, it's just not doing anything in there. Try a different one. The metal one's gone. Let's try this one. That's a bit better. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, there's a crack in the, the wood, so the core is damaged somewhere, I think. Let's just do that. Um wait for it to focus back in. Let me move that out of the way. There's not a lot of space on it. But uh yeah. I'm just going to try and do a bit of this because she's going to want feeding pretty soon. I'm going to try and finish my wrap up tomorrow. And like I said, hopefully I might get to read a bit tomorrow if Paul finishes work at a reasonable hour. Wheezy at the moment, so I think she's you know, I think the thing is today she's been awake most of the day because last night she slept really well, and um, so I think she's like.
grouchy today because she wants to be awake and she wants to be cuddled with and I certainly don't have a problem with that and you know she's going to be awake today hopefully she'll sleep better again she'll sleep all right tonight I hope so anyway So yeah, like I said, I'm behind on my Goodreads challenge. I think I'm something like nine books behind. But I don't really care. I shall try and... Uh, catch up with that at some point. Probably more when she settles down properly. When she gets into a proper routine. I mean, she's still only... She's not even three weeks old yet. She's three weeks old tomorrow night. So, you know, she's not going to be settled. Yeah, it's just, she's too young. It's just the way it is, so I don't mind. As long as she's growing and feeding and doing what she's supposed to do for her age, which she is, I'm going to be happy. So... I'm going to sleep now. Typical. I know it's because it's I'm going to have to wake her up to feed her now because I know she's hungry because she told me she was. I think I'll do the flowers with strange colours. I might even give it a strange sky because it is Oz and Oz is a... Fantasy land. Down. I think. hard to try and structure anything at the moment so just gonna do what we can do and see what happens and if we can get things you know some sort of organization great and if not not for the time being that's fine I mean I normally have a sleep in the afternoon but today somebody just kept wanting me to hold them and now it's like nearly four o'clock and it's hardly worth it because, well, I could, but, but Paul will be home just after six and I will want to try and get her fed before then and have dinner ready for him. It's not gonna work every day, but uh, hopefully he'll be able to get on the right train the uh, the sick the one that leaves at twenty five to six. This is what I have a problem with. I don't have a problem with people catching the train into Cardiff um, to go shopping. It's half term. They want to take their kids out and have fun. That's fine. But why catch the commuter train home? The one that leaves at twenty five to six. Why why catch that one? That is full of people who've been at work all day. They, they're not bothered about having kids on the train, but they do want to get out, be able to get on the train. They don't want to be stuck. You've had all day to go shopping. You've had all day to catch a train back. Why wait to the one that goes at 25 to 6 when you could have caught the 25 to 5 one and left the 25 to 6 one for the people who have to catch a train in and out of Cardiff to get to work? It really annoys me. When I go shopping in Cardiff. I do not catch the commuter trains. I try, I catch the one after the morning rush hour train and I try and get the four o'clock one, the 25 to four one back or the 25 to five one back, it isn't too bad. 
but the 25 to 6 one Leave it for people who have no choice. Leave it for the workers. They just want to get home. They don't want to be stuck waiting for another hour because you've decided to go shopping. And take your kids out. And I don't have a problem with you taking your kids out because, you know, it's half term. They should be able to enjoy themselves. But you don't need to be catching the rush hour train. And it was worse last night because they did say on the screen that it was four carriages. Now, when it arrived, it was only two. So it... Ridiculous. I'm not surprised that Arriva Trains Wales have lost the franchise for the area. I'm, I got I'm not surprised because you know it. It's really, really bad that people can't get on the train they need to get on to get home. It's like Paul doesn't have a choice. He has to work. He has to go into Cardiff, but. Excuse me, he has, you know, he's just spent all day at work. He's had to walk to the train station, which is a 20, 15 minute walk, fast walk from the bay where he works. He doesn't really want to have to wait an extra hour. For the, for, for the next train, just because it's full of kids and shoppers. Yeah, they have a right to catch the train. Don't get me wrong, everybody does. But I just don't get why they, why they would want to catch that train back. And it's, it's not so much that they shouldn't catch the train, but why would they want to? I mean, I, if I was there, I'd know that that train is going to be full of people. Full of people. Coming home from work and they're going to be miserable and annoyed. So why would I want to you know sit on a train with people who clearly have had enough at work just want to get home and they're stressed out because they can't either get on the train or get a seat on the train. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be on that train. I'd want to be on a different. I'd want to be getting home earlier. I would. But that's just me. So we're just doing Toto in black, black brown, and I think this is raw umber. Just a. My car, bit of colour. So, excuse my ranting about that. I'm the same with everything when there's no logical sense. You've got kids who are probably tired out from everything they've been doing all day. <coughs> and you get on a train, and you might have to, that, that, that person might have to stand, the kids might have to stand because there's other people, because the train's round because it's rush hour. I just don't understand the logic behind catching the rush hour train. Either catch the earlier one or one, or the seven o'clock one, or it gets into risk around seven o'clock, you know. But I wouldn't be myself, when Peanut's a bit older, I wouldn't be going into Cardiff on the train and then catching that rush hour train home there's no way you wouldn't you wouldn't get me up I, I no way i would be i'm afraid i would be off of that train i would be on the i would just wait i'd just go and have a, a beer somewhere or something to eat somewhere with her and just say no sorry mm -mm, not happening i'll catch the next one 
Well, we haven't done much, but I am going to leave it there because I've got to go and feed Jen, Jennifer now, because she's hungry, probably. Um, and I'm also going to get ready to start doing tea for Paul. It's only a short, quick video, but we've done the rest of her dress, and we've done Toto, and we've done the Yellow Brick Road, and we've done the the bushes, I can't even think. What I would do on the next one is the sun, the sky, the surround of the yellow brick road, this bit and this. So we'll do all that next time, we'll finish it off. Um, so hopefully by the time I, I get to do this again, I don't know when it'll be, she might be a bit more settled. Uh, so that's it, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all having fun colouring whatever it is you're colouring. And I will see you very, very soon with a haul and my wrap up for January. Obviously, it's very late because we're nearly at the end of February. Um, yeah, so I'm back. It's going to be a bit hit and miss for a while, but I will be back. I'm not going to not make videos. I'm not going to not post. Oops, kicking the tripod. Um, I will be doing the videos I set out to do this year. I will be doing 52 rolls. I haven't even shot one yet. I've shot half of one. I will be doing colour and catch ups, I will be doing hauls, I will be doing book related stuff, we will be going to Bristol and doing some Bristol memories. So it's all going to happen, it's just we just got to fit it all around the little munchkin, my little peanut. So that's it for today, I will see you all soon, so happy colouring everybody, bye!